Coach Izzo of Michigan State, the Spartans setting the definite green and white tone for the evening. There's Izzo really getting in their face during the timeout. Tom is a terrific teacher of the game. Gets the most out of his players. Tom, Michigan State has been a staple in the NCAA tournament. What does it mean to you to consistently get teams in position to be in the tournament? Well, it means the world to me. I think consistency is what we're all looking for. You know, like I remember when we won it, because we won it year five. We went to a final year four and year four, and everybody's ready to canonize our program. And I said, come back in 10 years. You know, I, I, but in 10 years, we, we've still done pretty good. You know, I think about so many Hall of Fame coaches, your peers, that, you know, have won one championship and probably thought they were going to win more. Uh, what does it say about how difficult and how sometimes lucky you have to be to win more than one. You definitely have to be a little lucky. You gotta be good, but you gotta be a little lucky. You know, we've gotten to a Final Four as a seventh seed, and we've been obviously in the first round as a one seed. I'm a perfect uh, walking example of the pluses and minuses of the NCAA tournament. You know, I, I look at it, it's so much fun. There's so much enjoyment. I don't think anything comes close to March Madness. Terrific job by Tom Izzo tonight. Tom Izzo, eight Final Fours, a national title. Your peers have retired, and you're still going. Why? Stupidity. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, I feel good. I mean, I, I say that I'm 10 years younger than Bayheim and nine than, than Mike when he left. And right now, I still love my work every day. In that longevity, it'd be 25 straight tournaments. What does that number mean to you to, to put together yeah. something like that? I guess that's a silver anniversary, is that what yes. they're called? But why did I schedule like I scheduled on this my 25th year, the chance of it? Because our schedule in non-conference is off the charts. And I think it's it would be a fitting way to get to the 25th. I just hope we can do it. But the consistency of getting in the tournament, where does that rank? Well, to me, it's the highest. It really is. I mean, but as far as for the program and for what I really wanted to accomplish when I got there, that was the ultimate word. Consistency and culture, the two C's, you know? If you can have consistency and you have a culture. But if you can keep consistent, I think that says it all about your program, you know? Not a Final Four here and, you know, win 10 games here. It's consistency that I think is the way somebody should be measured.